Sally Hemings' story began as the mixed-race daughter of an enslaved African woman and a white English sea captain. Born in 1773 on the plantation of John Wales in Virginia, she was brought to Monticello at a young age after Wales' death to serve the growing household of his son-in-law, Thomas Jefferson. There, despite her mixed ancestry, the institution of slavery dictated she was legally the property of Jefferson. While in Paris in 1787 as American ambassador, Jefferson crossed yet another line by beginning an intimate relationship with Hemings, who had accompanied his daughter Martha to help care for her. The power imbalance between the two could not have been starker. Hemings was a slave, young and far from home, wholly reliant on Jefferson's good graces. Despite this, it seems Hemings negotiated certain terms, including manumission for any children. Over nearly 40 years at Monticello, she bore Jefferson multiple children, fulfilling her part of the bargain. Though clouded in secrecy while he lived, DNA testing in the late 20th century provided conclusive evidence that Jefferson had indeed fathered Hemings' children. The relationship forces us to confront the complex realities of slavery, especially regarding ownership of one's body and issues of consent.